Hello everyone, uh, once again, welcome to my YouTube channel, it's Reviving Destinies, yeah, we revive destinies. So in this video, I'm going to talk about weight of wisdom. Uh, so that's what I'm going to talk about. So, but before I, I can go far, let me start by emphasizing this, because there are lots of teachings uh, which are coming, uh, which they are being described as mysteries, uh, wisdom, or revelations but now i'm just going to stick on the biblical perspective of wisdom so uh wisdom uh word of wisdom or the biblical wisdom wisdom is a spiritual it's different from intelligence so wisdom is not the same as uh intelligence either academic intelligence or the intelligence of knowing uh the current issues or the intelligence but however a person can have both of them but when a person has intelligence it does not mean the person has wisdom so that's what we have to understand because wisdom is spiritual so uh, and also we get it from god so that's 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 how it is and also wisdom solve problems i'm going to emphasize this a lot uh, uh, as i'm going to quote the scriptures wisdom is not pretending most of people uh, uh, they think whenever you are pretending is a sign of wisdom. They they they, they are uh, justifying their pretense characters natures uh, with wisdom, uh, and which is not good at all. Uh, which they don't uh, uh, operate together. And also, wisdom does not mean lying. And also, wisdom does not mean not pointing a problem. So um, many people will see some problems uh, existing. But instead of them to point them, they won't point them. They will just say uh, uh, it's wisdom uh, not to point them. Or they view labeling problems as not wisdom. Uh, whenever you can check the evidence of the scriptures, Jesus was able to uh, point the Pharisees, uh, 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 was able to point the Pharisees and call them the liars and call them you brute of... Even John the Baptist was... Uh, pointing the Pharisees and calling them you brood of vipers. He was even harsh. Even Jesus Christ he used to call uh, the Pharisees by name. In the book of John chapter number 8, he will tell them that he used to say, you, the father of the you, you, you are of your father, the devil. So you can see that there is big difference between wisdom uh, and not pointing a problem. So whenever you choose not to point some problems, does not mean you are wise. Uh, and also whenever you point the problems uh, not being straight when you are pointing the problem does not mean it's wisdom so let just let me just go uh, to the evidence of the scripture so f f also let me try to uh, uh, differentiate this we have a wisdom which we get as a spiritual gift uh, 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 as a spiritual gift immediately when you are born again you have that wisdom uh, at the same time we have a wisdom which we get as we pray and we ask from God. And at the same time, we have a wisdom which uh, 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 we get as much as we are reading the scripture. Whenever the scripture fills us, it fills us with that wisdom and, and knowledge. So now, let me start with the wisdom of a spiritual gift. Uh, as we go, read the book of Corinthians chapter number 12, uh, verse number... Uh, verse number... Uh, <coughs> Uh, verse, let me start from verse number uh, let me start from verse number 8 for to one is given uh, through the spirit the utterance of wisdom and in the other the utterance of knowledge according to the same spirit so you can see that uh, since I even emphasize that I'm speaking about uh, spiritual wisdom so, uh, spiritual wisdom, you can see that here uh, it is speaking about the, the utterance of wisdom. So, as a spiritual gift. So, as a spiritual gift, uh, uh, you, 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 the, the, the other ones, they are given the gift of wisdom or the gift of knowledge, the utterance of wisdom and the utterance of knowledge. So, there is a line between knowledge and wisdom. Uh, uh, however, they, 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 they correlate. But uh, the other ones, they were given the utterance of wisdom, then the other one were given the utterance of knowledge. So, 
just put an emphasis on this, then the other ones were given the utterance, they, 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 they were given the gift of prophecy. So you can see that uh, wisdom is a gift. There are people who specifically have the gift of wisdom as a gift. Then uh, now uh, let's just go to the book of James chapter number one, verse number uh, five. James one, verse number five. If you, if you, if any of you lacks wisdom, let him ask God who gives generously to all without the reproach, and it will be given to him. So you can see that also as much as wisdom is a gift, there are those who specifically got that gift of wisdom. There are those who, uh, uh, whom if you think you lack wisdom, you should pray to God, and God will fill you with wisdom. So this means even if you have a gift of wisdom, still the scripture is not exclusive to you. You can still pray to God to fill you with more wisdom, to fill you with more knowledge. So, uh, so that's, that's how it is. Then also, you also got wisdom whenever you fill yourself with the scripture. Then whenever you read the scripture and you ask God to help you with the interpretation uh, uh, of, 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 of that scripture. Then another thing also, uh, what I wanted to emphasize is on the first point which I made is wisdom solves the problems, is not the pretense. Whenever you look at the scripture in the book of, uh, 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 in the book, uh, uh, whenever you check the story of Solomon, King Solomon, when he was uh, releasing the judgment, Solomon was not a prophet, but whenever two women, and another one who came, who slept on top of a, a child, the nurse slept on top of a child, then the child died. Uh, then later, uh, he, he took the, uh, the child of another woman. <laughs> then later, he, he went to King Solomon. Whenever King Solomon was judging that, he was not a prophet to God the revelation that the child was not belonging to another woman, but was belonging to uh, that woman. But he, 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 he executed wisdom. He applied the wisdom, the spiritual wisdom of a scripture. He wanted to see amongst them who is, uh, 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 who feels sympathy for that child, who wanted the child to live. Whenever he says, let me just cut the child into two pieces, then give another piece to someone, give another piece to someone. So into that uh, uh, context, uh, he just wanted to see who really care for that child. Then uh, later, he, 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 that, he, the, the other the another woman, God revealed that uh, uh, the child does not belong to her. Whenever he was supporting that uh, thing of, yeah, let's just cut the baby uh, and give that one to someone else and give that piece to someone else. So, but the one which uh, belongs to her said, no, let's not do that. Let's just give it to uh, the other woman because he, he wanted the child to live because he understood that that child was the flesh of her flesh and the blood of her blood. So he didn't want the child to die. So Solomon from that uh, virtue, from that uh, uh, wisdom which he applied, he managed to notice uh, uh, that the child belongs to uh, that uh, uh, other woman. So, so that, that's how it is. So now uh, you can look at the evidence of the scripture there that uh, Solomon was not lying, was just attempting to observe uh, which child uh, is who. So that's how it is. Whenever, even we, when we check at the evidence of the scripture, it will tell you that Abraham uh, once spoke something which was not true. That uh, this is uh, my, uh, this is just my sister. Uh, where else it was not a sister, it was a, a, a wife. He was ex escaping. He was escaping to be killed uh, uh, from that. So uh, let me just end up the video there. Please don't forget to subscribe, uh, like the video, and click the notification button. Let me see you on the next video. Shalom.